a new season, a new team, and you got an optimistic attitude. It's a ritual that every athlete goes through in beginning a new season or joining a new team. Fight hard for your playing spot while navigating the dynamics of your teammates. Figure out the coach's teaching style. Decide what you need to work on most. Put some extra effort in to get in shape and worry a lot. <laughs> that last part is optional and definitely not helpful. And here's how to deal with it. But before I give you the solution, let me help you understand where the problem really comes from. You see, us human beings have inherited from our ancestors the tendency to always look first for what is wrong and where we are lacking. And this was a simple survival mechanism since most of the history of humans is that of constantly struggling to meet basic needs. Those who were able to prepare for problems and self-correct mistakes were the human beings that survived. And being on constant alert for problems, it actually was an advantage, but not in sports anymore. It only leads to performance anxiety or other forms of fear. Yes, obviously you still want to be self-aware about your, your skills and abilities and work on the areas of your game where you're weakest, of course. I'm not saying to drop that. What I'm saying is that you have to balance it out. Mentally work on creating that balance. Because here's what I mean. Think thoughts about our weaknesses, they come natural, right? Thoughts about why we can succeed have to be conditioned through effort and, re and repetition until it becomes habit. See, we are emotional beings. And if you're gonna have more thoughts about your negatives, then you're gonna have more feelings of worry, fear, and anxiety. If you have more thoughts about what you're good at and what you've done to prepare, then you're gonna feel more confident and probably play better going into this season. If your training and prep has been there preseason and you, and you do this kind of thing well that I'm talking about, well, there's nothing more for you to do. That's mental toughness. You will get your time in and you can let whatever happens, happens. Worrying and wondering will only hold you back from playing your best in practices and in games. Because the formula to play your best is performance equals potential minus interference. And the biggest chunk of that interference is fear. So many athletes get stuck in that old school attitude that all you have to do to get to that next level in your sport is work harder, practice more, and figure out how to fix what is wrong with your game just isn't true. Team sports or individual sports, it's all the same. There's another element and it's ultra important going into this new season. It's called playing in the zone or the flow is more accurate. You know, given the changing nature of things going on throughout a season, the way the coach, everything that's going on, the only way you're going to play your best and give yourself the best chance to make it on your new team is to get out of your own way, which basically comes down to clearing out and eliminating all that fear so that your trained body just takes over while you're out there playing and competing. Finally, no matter what happens in this upcoming season, it's really, really not that important in the big scheme of your life. Put things in perspective. Push yourself because you want to see how much determination you've got. Go all out simply because you love your sport. Just let the chips fall where they may. That's called controlling the controllables. I'm Craig Sigal. Let's do this.